Welcome to English Country Life. We free range our chickens in our field, but it might surprise you to know that chickens which don't have things to interest them, even in a free range environment, can become disruptive and destructive. So join me as I go through some things that we use to keep our chickens interested. Hi, my name is Fiona. As you see, our chickens are enjoying the sunshine out in their field, and we have lots of things to keep them interested. All of the things which we employ means that the chickens don't peck at each other. They generally have lots to keep them interested, but it also means they've got lots of places to disappear to if problems do occur, and they're far less disruptive in the space that they've got. Today I want to take you through some of those and we're going to start with the poppy toy from Omelette. The poppy peck toy from Omelette is our chicken's favourite toy. It's a very simple concept. The chickens can see their favourite treats in the clear holder. They peck it. It gives them some treats. Why wouldn't they like it? There are lots of things that I like about it too. First of all, it's cheap to buy so it won't break the bank. Secondly, you can choose the treats that you put inside. It's designed to dispense hard treats like grains or seeds, but the mix is entirely your choice. If you wanted to, you could even put grit or pellets in it. We choose to put whole wheat grains inside because we buy 25 kilo sacks of it from our feed merchant very, very cheaply. And as you can see, it does keep the chickens busy. Third, it's robust and it stands up to some serious pecking action from our hens. Overall, we think it's very well designed. We have bought quite a few treat dispensers over time. Most over dispense and after a short time they have to be refilled. We did buy one last year that wouldn't dispense at all because the holes to dispense the treats were just too small to let any grains fall out at all. Now in contrast, the omelette poppy peck toy gives enough grains or seeds to keep the hens busy without over dispensing so it does have the perfect balance. There's a hanging version of the pecking toy called the pendant and that's also very popular with the chickens. Brie, one of our old English pheasant fowl, particularly likes it. Both of these toys can be bought from the omelette website and a direct link to both the poppy and the pendant peck toys can be found in the description to this video below. This is another treat dispenser we have. It's called a chicken bowl and it's very simple. It comes in two halves, treats go inside and the idea is the chickens peck at it, it rolls around and it dispenses a small amount of treats for I from either end. Now during this last winter we had avian influenza restrictions here in the UK and that meant our chickens had to be kept in fully netted enclosed areas and in a very short period of time every piece of grass disappeared from inside that enclosure and these treat dispensers were a hit at that point. It was very easy for the chickens to roll them around and get access to the food. Now that we're out in the field whole different ball game if you excuse the pun. What actually happens is that the chickens find it very difficult to roll these around and that's because we want our chickens to be grazing so we keep our grass fairly lush at a small amount of length. Now if you've got bowling ball green grass these are recommended because they'll roll them around no problem at all but if you want them to be grazing and have that grass just very slightly longer they find it very very difficult to roll these around. So if you've got an enclosure or you've got very very short grass these are a good idea if not don't bother. You may be wondering what this is and it's exactly what it looks like it's a chicken swing. There are commercial ones available, but I decided to try and make one for myself because we've got lots of bits lying around. And this wooden strut came from an old swing seat, which was no longer structurally sound. And the ropes were old equine lead ropes, which just clip onto the ends. Our Buff Orpingtons and our Morans have shown no interest in the chicken swing whatsoever, so they haven't got any use out of it. But our Crested Cream Leg Bars and our Old English Pheasant Fowl, when they were young, played on it quite a lot. Now they're adults, they don't seem to be interested, but we keep it in place and we've got some new Crested Cream Leg Bars being hatched this year, so I'm hoping it's going to get used again. 
This is some footage from a previous year showing two young crested cream leg bar cockerels just hanging around and enjoying the homemade chicken swing. This by far is the chicken's favourite hangout on the entire small holding. It's their dust bath and it's their covered dust bath. It's got a roof on it so that there's no beating sun, there's no rain to make them wet. It also gives them shelter for wind because it's got a back to it so the wind normally comes in this direction and that back stops them getting cold from that wind. But it means they can get away from each other too because they can hide behind it or in front of it or even sit on the roof. They love these struts on the sides to perch on too so everything about this works for them but best of all they get to bathe in all of this sand that's in the tractor tyre underneath the roof. Why is it important for chickens to get away from each other? Well one of the biggest things we're trying to do in board and busting for chickens is to reduce the likelihood that a chicken can be picked on in a pecking order dispute. In a free range environment, obstacles are really important so chickens can run away and keep out of the line of sight of each other. That really helps. As we scan around our area, you'll notice we've got lots of structures, both shelters and coops, which break up the line of sight and that helps to keep the flock in the field calm. Obstacles don't have to be complicated. Anything solid that forms a barrier that the chickens can run around will work. That could be an old fence panel or a piece of plywood tacked to two stakes in the ground either side. All of those would work. Sand baths for your chickens are an amazing board and buster as well as being a necessary part of their self-care routine. We were given two tractor tyres by a friend and we filled them both with builder sand but you could use a child sand pit or any container that will hold sand and allow the chickens enough movement that they can work it into their feathers. The added bonus is that by providing a sand bath it might prevent too many holes being dug by your chickens, ruining your flower beds or your lawn, but it won't prevent it completely. Laurel can be seen here in a dust bath that she's dug despite having access to those two tract tyres. You might think that these chairs are here for my convenience so I've got somewhere to sit when I do the health inspections on the chickens. And to be fair, they are useful for that, but actually they're here to keep the chickens interested. As you can see, Gouda, one of our old English pheasant fowl, has joined me on the other chair and she's happily sitting there having a preen at the moment. But they'll climb on the back, they'll sleep, they'll perch on the back, they'll fly off. They absolutely love making use of these chairs. One other thing I've got is a ladder and it's an old wooden ladder and that I bought for 99 pence from eBay and all of these were bought second hand. The chairs were £5 for a pair from a car boot sale which is equivalent to a US yard sale. But the ladder I bought from a lady who told me when I picked it up that it's not suitable for adult humans, it won't carry the weight. And when I explained it was going to be a chicken toy, I think she thought I was mad. But the old English pheasant fowl particularly love climbing up to the top and flying as far as they can. And it's wonderful to watch. This is another one of our high perches and the chickens love it. Most mornings I'll come out and somebody is sat on top of this perch. But you'll notice that this actually has a little entrance here and that's because inside here is one of their drinkers. In a free range environment we need to keep the drinkers cool and this keeps them in the shade. If it was in full sunlight and we have galvanised metal drinkers that water can heat up but by keeping them in the shade inside this area the water stays very cold for them so it's much more pleasant. If we had to give you three recommendations from the amount of things that we've looked at, the first would be give your chickens a sand bath. As you can see, Willow is really enjoying hers behind us. If you can't put a tractor tire in, a child's sand bath does the job just as well. The second thing is shelter from beating sun, from wind, from rain, and it also gives them somewhere to hide from each other if a pecking order comes into play. 
In terms of toys, we only have one real recommendation, and that's the omelette poppy tree. The hanging version, the pendant, is also incredibly good, but we've tried lots of toys for the chickens out in the free range environment, and this is the only one that seems to interest them and seems to stick consistently with all of the chickens that we have. So we do recommend it, and there is a link to purchase this in the description down below. If you have liked this content, take a moment and give me a thumbs up below. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll get to know of every new video as soon as it's published. If you want to support the channel, you can get hold of one of our branded t-shirts in our eBay store and a link to that is in the description down below too. If you've got any questions for me, leave it in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. But for now, Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.